Hi everyone. The second gradient descent optimization method is stochastic gradient descent method, which is one of the small variant in the uh, batch gradient descent method. The uh, gradient descent method is useful to reduce the cost which is created by our uh, neural network uh, by minimizing the uh, loss function uh, for the network with respect to the parameters given here. The uh, stochastic gradient descent is uh, taking only single sample randomly from the given data set uh, for each iteration. Then it will iterate that single sample and uh, improves that sample by updating the weight before moving into the next random sample. So, uh, as per this procedure, the network will take a single sample at a time. So, it will take the single sample, then it is iterating that sample, uh, calculate the gradient for that uh, uh, single sample, then it will update the weights in which is available in the network. So, after calculating the weights, then it will move to the next sample, randomly the samples will be selected here not sequential way so the next sample will be selected it will send to the network so that is called second iteration or oh, in the second iteration the second samples gradient will be calculated then update the weights to that uh, 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 network with respect to the second sample then third sample will be sent to the network then again uh, the output will be calculated after calculating the output we will apply the back propagation in the back propagation gradients will be calculated then again update the weight so we are updating the weights for each and every iteration so this is leading to frequent update of parameters for each and every iteration so since we are updating uh, the weights for each and every iteration that uh, uh, weights are called uh, i mean uh, that gradient is called noisy gradient but it is saving the time because of it it needs uh, to update only one training sample for each and every iteration for storing the parameters for each and every sample it needs only less memory but when you are take, uh, taking the previous me method uh, 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 gradient descent, batch gradient descent, entire data set. For example, all thousand samples will be sent to the network for single iteration. So, to store the uh, values of this uh, thousand values, we need larger memory. But here, which is taking single sample. So, for single sample, we need only smaller memory than to store all the, uh, the samples which are available in the data set. So it is saving the time than previous method and also computing the space. This process has to be uh, repeated until to reach the convergence point. Uh, that means reducing the error close to the zero. So here we are using the formula to update the update the weights. The new weight equal to old weight of that particular feature uh, for the sample minus alpha into here uh, the predicted output minus actual output into the associated feature for this particular weight. So, I is representing the sample, J is representing the feature number. Okay. So, based upon that, here uh, we will check the graph. So, you assume that our uh, error is available at the initial iteration in this point. Uh, error is taking 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. It is 1. So, here we are uh, applying the epochs or iterations. So, when we are using uh, the nice gradient in the stochastic gradient algorithm, the gradient that points in different direction, that means the gradient will move, uh, uh, I mean uh, the direction will be show, will be calculated maybe this direction or this direction or this direction. So, any direction it will be pointed out rather than 
single direction so this is one of the main feature of stochastic gradient descent so here uh, since it is pointing the gradient in different direction it avoids the local minimum that means when you are when you are uh, learning curve is having uh, uh, many uh, lawyers okay this is one low point this is one low point this is one low point this is another low point so each lower point is called minimum value minimum error right so when you are taking the uh, graph in this manner it is the error so here when you are applying the iterations uh, first it is reaching this minimum point our algorithm uh, thinks uh, this is the uh, error which is uh, having the minimum after that why it is uh, thinking it is the minimum value because after this point the uh, error is again increasing here okay again it is increasing so the algorithm is thinking thinking it is the minimum uh, error for this particular data set but uh, in the stochastic gradient descent what it will be happen the uh, gradient is calculated and pointing different direction so uh, it will uh, pointing different direction for each and every sample also we are calculating the uh, gradient so what it will do it will go this direction okay this direction then suddenly it may go in this direction so again it will go like this so uh, the stochastic gradient is uh, skipping i mean not skipping uh, uh, crossing right it crossing the local minimum and also it is trying to get the another minimum value that another minimum value may be uh, i mean lower error than the previous error so here we are getting another one local minimum so this is this error is close to zero than this one so this error is ca called as a global minimum value when comparing with this one and this one and this one and this one so this is the lowest value than this error points so the stochastic gradient is trying to get the global minimum global minimum when we are having so many number of local minimum value that's what given here so in this graph so here the initially error error is available in this point then we are calculating the gradients for that particular iteration so so in this uh, uh, iteration we are updating the weights after updating the weights it is reaching here then next you see it is it instead of coming through this direction it is going in this direction okay it is going here then it is again coming here then sometime it may go here so it will come then it will uh, come come to here then it will reach the global minimum point so like that the stochastic gradient descent uh, uh, avoids the local minimum and reach the better minimum that is called the global minimum so which is happening due to updating the gradients for each and every training sample that is the main feature of stochastic gradient descent algorithm thanks for watching